to CM Videos, a YouTube channel where we help you get started with computational modeling. If you're already down the modeling route, we're also here to help you with curating the best finite element solution for your modeling challenges. My name is Dr. Michael Okreke. I'm making this video to show you how to automatically apply periodic boundary conditions in Abacus. And to do this, I will introduce you to a bespoke software that I've developed to do this and also illustrate how you can actually do this using two case studies. So sit back and relax as we get started with computational modeling. So the software that we're going to use to do this is called PBC Gen Lite, and this is the very first version, version 1.0. And it's basically a MATLAB based code that prescribes periodic boundary conditions on rectangular LVEs, you know, very easily. And the flowchart of how it works is first, we have three steps. First, we do Abacus, then we move into a MATLAB, and then within MATLAB, we do PBC Gen Lite, and then we go back to Abacus. So a model is first created in Abacus, and then you write an input file a keyword input file for Abacus and that file is then generated is basically becomes a, an input file and that is then copied and pasted into the PPC Gen Lite workbench and within that workbench environment which is within sitting within MATLAB PBC Gen will have to run on this file execute operate on this file to now apply the periodic boundary condition form an updated version of that same original model, this time with period boundary condition incorporated, and then re-import that model into Abacus and run. So the essence of going out of Abacus into MATLAB and PPC gen is because Abacus in itself, you know, there is no way to automate the application of periodic boundary condition. So we need to come off, go into an environment that we can actually do this, and then we come back into Abacus. So that's the flow chart, and that's how this, um, this code works, right? So two case studies we're going to be looking at. First, a steel plate with holes. We do an X um, deformation, tensile deformation on it, and then an RV of a UD composite. And we're going to do a pure XY shear deformation. So this is a, the picture of the domain for the case one study and the domain for the case two study. So we're going to go, before we do that, let's look at what we would have as, as the code. So when you download um, PBC Gen, so it comes in this folder called PBC Gen Lite. WB. So there will be other con contents in the folder, basically most of the content that we're generating in this video. So the demo model is the Abacus model that we're using. The main code is the PPC Gen Lite, uh, and this is a journal file. And the other bit is a Python script for creating the Abacus, uh, the composite model simulation that we're using in this. So this is what we're going to, to, to use. So what I will do first is I'll copy that link, and this is how you're going to do it. So basically you load Abacus. So here we are in Abacus. So the first thing you need to do is to set the working directory so that it will be that environment where PBC gen is located so that it makes the analysis easier, right? Then we now open the demo file. We're using this demo file simply because, um, you know, because we, you know, this is what I'm using to demonstrate. But in your own case, you have your own model that you want to apply periodic boundary conditions. So just save that file in the workbench of PBC gen. Now, Okay, our steel plate, basically a steel plate. Um, every other thing is involved, so it's got the materials. So the key thing is the meshing, okay? Remember, for periodic boundary condition to work, we need to have a periodic mesh. So the number of mesh on this end will call the number of mesh there, there, and there. So the easiest way is to do a global mesh. So let's just say, okay, I'm going to do two. You know, just a finer mesh, right? And then I'm going to use a triangular element. Uh, and this mainly because of the shapes involved. So we use a triangular element as our model, and then we just mesh. Okay, so this is fine. I mean, it's also a good thing to check how many meshes. So we query the mesh to see how many we have. So we've got 2,672. Okay, this is fine. Uh, PPC Gen, the version that is, uh, is released, that you have this PPC Gen light version, can only allow you uh, a, a, a mesh of, of up to 4,000 nodes. Beyond 4,000 nodes, you really need to upgrade to the higher version of PPC Gen. But the light version, which is the straightforward, easier to use version, is the one that only allows up to 4,000 nodes. So please bear that in mind. Uh, so this is why it's essential to query the model to make sure that your discretization is within 
to 4,000 nodes. Um, 4,000 nodes for a 2D system like this is more than adequate for most jobs that you want to do. Okay, so we have our boundary condition. Okay, so uh, there's a step. The normal things you will do, uh, back is held in the X direction and the base is also held in the Y direction and then we've got a tensile load applied at that point. And then I created a model, steel plate holes. So we are going to right input that model. So we write input. So basically right click, write input. And then you go into the work environment, the workbench where in, in MATLAB where the code is. So this is the workbench and you can see we now have our code, um, the keyword input file. So what we need to do with this keyword input file is to use BBC gen, operate on it to apply periodic boundary condition onto it. So how do we do that? So you right click on that and click OK Run. Then it said, please pick the Abacud input file to impose. So we select that input file. And then basically what it will do is I will read through the code and apply periodic boundary condition. But at the start, it will give you these two plots showing you the graph of all the nodes just to give you a visual feel of what is going on. And then also I select the boundary nodes that it will be using to apply periodic boundary condition. Okay, then in the end, we have a job folder that BBC Gen has created and Light has created. And most importantly, we have the Abacus uh, updated input file, which is this one. So if you open that code, so maybe if we look at that, so let's just open that particular code and just have a feel. So if you open it and then you look through, you notice that we've got all this star and the nodal sets as well as the star equations. The star equations have also been implemented. So this is what PPC Gen does. It finds these linkages, makes the connectivities, and then apply the relevant and periodic boundary conditions that you would need for your simulation. So that's that's done. So let's go back to. So what we're going to then do is we're going to copy this link. So basically, we've done all that we can do in MATLAB. So we now need to go back into Abacus so that we can then import this model and run the updated version. So this is the original version without BBC aware. So if we now import the second version, which will be an input file. So that's that. So we'll bring it into the environment. And what it will do is that it will read through and create a new set of model with all the periodic boundary condition incorporated um, the way it should be. Okay, so, and that's that's a new model. It's a completely different model from the other one. If you open that up and go to the constraint fetch section, you could see clearly you've got a set of constraints. Okay, so these are the equations that we, we, would, we had before. So everything about this is fine. It's okay. It's beautiful. Um, the, it brings across all the information in the past. So everything is okay. So all I just need to do is call OCK steel plate with holes. So let's just call it PBC to distinguish it from the original case. All right. So we submit that model to run. So basically it will run and generate a result. So let's think about the second case. So which is a second case study. And with the second case study, we need to use a Python script. So this is a Python script that comes with the release of PBC gen. So there's a Python script here. So we're going to work with that. So if we just copy that Python script, it's just for illustration purposes. So then we can go here and paste that Python script. So it will run through, generate the model that we need and everything is fine. So I'm just going to rename it and call it a UD composite. So if you have, again, your own model and you want to use your own script, that's fine. So uh, clearly I like to leave these properties empty. So. Um, just for you so that you can use it for whatever material you want. So this is 73 e to the power 9 and 0 0.2 for e-glass. Okay. And then the metrics that I've been using basically is polypropylene. So it could be epoxy 1.308 e to the power 9 and 0 0.4 for the elastic properties. And the plastic properties will be 4 e to the power 6 and 0, 0.0. All right. So this is fine. The section assignments are all there. Okay, no, the section assignment hasn't been done. So we double click on that. Select the metrics. Okay. And then select everything. Press down shift, deselect the metrics, leaving the fiber only. And then you've got that. 
So I like to check to make sure I've selected things well. So this is fine. So with our meshing, okay. So again, 2.1 is what is recommending. Um, so again, I could use a triangular um, element shape. So this is fine. I could check the mesh to make sure it's within the limit that we, we need. So 3,697, so this is okay. It's not up to 4,000, which is a limit with for PPC Gen Lite. So um, then the other thing is to think about the steps. So for this case, so loading step. Um, then the boundary condition will be X back fixed. Remember what we're trying to do with this case is to do a shear deformation. So I just need to use the boundary point that press down shift select that. So this is fine. We'll constrain it in the two direction and then I've got my X, Y shear. It will be a loading step. Okay. And then we're going to use the front end only that point. So this will be in the Y direction and I could say, well, not to a 20 displacement so this is fine everything is fine and we check the mesh is okay the material models are fine and we can create um ud comp share xy share so let's just call it xy share all right so continue finish so now like before we right click on that write it into the environment Go back to where we have a PBC gen installed, which is this environment. If you look here, you see that XY share is there. So again, we run PBC gen light, XY share open. So it will run through again, as usual, it will plot these two graphs that it comes, gives us some information, creates a folder for it. So we we'll copy that link, go back into Abacus, import this new model that is now PBC gen aware. Okay, now once we get it inside, so again, it will run through the code, populate it and get all the boundary connectivities to make it PPC gen, PPC gen aware, PPC implemented. So that's what is happening here. So once that is done, then we'll be in a position to submit the job. So that's this case. So we'll double click here. So I'm going to call this UD comp X, Y, share PBC. Okay, PVC and make sure it's selecting this particular model, the updated case. So this is fine. And then PVC will submit that to run. Okay. And while that is running, so let's look at the steel plates. So let's look at the results. So first the steel plate with holes. So look at the result. Okay. So you get some interesting result that would as we would expect. So let's, um, I exaggerate that a bit so if we do up to two okay so we've got some interesting results so you get the periodicity happening as we'd expect top and bottom uh, we could speed it up a bit just to visualize what's happening the build up of stress around the holes as the structure deforms um, and it's a steel plate with holes all the way through it so we can then look at for example the shear case the build up of shear we can look at the plastic strain uh, that builds up in the model and things like that so this is the kind of result that you get the key information here is that you get periodicity all the way around and because we're using this code we we are getting this kind of result so the other bit is the shear case so if you look at the result for shear for a composite okay so let's auto compute first all right so that looks right um so why not let's look at plastic strain so you see we, we end up with some kind of interesting result again periodicity is implemented here with the back end being periodic with the front end and the top and the bottom so bbc gen has been able to implement right boundary condition in this domain and you're generating the kind of result that we want so this is the essence of what i wanted to show in this video how can you automate the process of implying periodic boundary condition on any represent the volume element with a quadrilateral shape, like in this case. So the code is available for you to download. You just need to look at the, um, the description section of the code of this video, and then you see a link that will help you 
um, to the link for downloading the video but i just have to say you need to go through a signing in process you sign in a subscribe to cm video inside that group which will then link you to the product page where you can actually download this on my website so please go ahead and enjoy the code um, and and give me any feedback of what you think you know how if it's really been beneficial to you or not so that's all i wanted to say in this video again i'll put uh, point you to two videos that i've made one showing the theory of periodic boundary condition and another one on how you can do this manually so these are pre videos that precede this one so please again if you're really trying to understand this concept in more detail please look at those videos and um, i wish you good good luck with your periodic boundary condition challenges and i'll catch you in the next video take care and bye